what's going on with season 11? Is there going to be one? Curb season 11? Jeff? Uh, Larry and I are doing a lot of FaceTiming. Okay. Um, so we're definitely, you know, we're definitely talking about it. And I got to say, Rich, I don't know, do, you, do, do all of your listeners know about your side hustle? That in addition to all the other things you do? Yes. That you also have a side hustle as quality control for Curb Your Enthusiasm? We talk about that on occasion. <laughs> I don't know if I, I go back and forth. Is it like Fight Club or not? Am I allowed to talk about the fact that I'm part of a crew that sees the, the shows in an edit bay to, oh, to check on all of it? For or, sure. Okay, quality for control. Sure. You, just, uh, okay. you, just can't, you just can't give any details or the Sky Judge will find you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, no, people are, yeah, we do talk about that on occasion. And, and, okay. and uh, so, it's it's truly one of the most amazing things that's ever happened. <laughs> so, yes, I love it. Um, so, anyway, I think, you know, Larry never wants to be put in the position where he has to put the show out. So, right. we usually make a, have a pretty big, you know, have made a lot, a lot of headway before we'd ever admit we're doing another season. Right. Um, but we're... I will tell you this: we are having, we're having fun talking about things. Mm. So, what is a FaceTime session like? Where you just like start? You, where you're? This is where the the next spite store idea comes up on a FaceTime between you and LD. Yeah, we're talking about things. Well, first, Larry's got to plug in his iPad, and then he, we complain about how he, the um, the outlets in his house aren't at shoulder height, like all outlets should be. <laughs> why does everyone? <laughs> Why does everyone have to rummage, you know, like a raccoon along the ground to plug things in? Um, <laughs> we complain about that. And, yeah. you know, a little chatting. And then, yeah, and then we just start throwing uh, throwing ideas around. Okay. So ideas are being thrown around for season 11 before you have to commit yes. to anything. I like that. So yeah. that's that we're checking that box for sure. Um, and one, 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 how is the... Uh, the Jets episode, now that it has aired, how is that landing? Is everything good with Larry and the Jets based on what happened after that episode? So, here's the thing. First of all, there were so many closet Jets fans. I had people who I've known for a long time who never admitted they were Jets fans. Yes. Who were like, hey, I'm a Jets fan. I just got to say, that was the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, wow, you were deep in the closet about the Jets. Right. So... Um, but no, things are. I will say that Larry had a um, a very nice chat with uh, with Adam Gase. Okay. And uh, and I think things are. I think things are good. I mean, you know, when Larry was telling people that he had a witness to his uh, McCagnan talk about Lamar Jackson. Yes. That was me. That was me. I was the witness. So he, when 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 he talked to McCagnan saying draft Lamar Jackson, and McCagnan basically gave him the same okay that Larry ended his PSA with. You were there yep. for that part of the conversation. Yep, a it was a little, a little pat on the head. There you go, off you go, funny man. <laughs> we got it, we got it, we're good. <laughs> did, what need have the Jets for Lamar Jackson? The, here's the thing. This is what the beautiful thing about Larry's Jet fandom, as it was last summer when we, when, when I saw that that episode in the edit bay, lights come on. When the lights come on, Chris, Larry and Jeff have these notes, and they ask everyone in the room these questions. Sure. One of the first things Larry said to me is, like, he was nervous that the Jets would actually do well, thus making this episode that airs in January totally out of place. Right. Right? Remember that, Jeff? He had that question? Yeah, and, and I had been assuring him that can't happen because of <laughs> J-E-T-S-S. <-S>. <laughs> so I told him, I hear you, that he was such a fan, like, wait, it's Le'Veon Bell's coming, all of that stuff. And then week two hits when the mononucleosis happens, and I texted you guys saying, you're fine. That episode's going to be just great in January. And then the episode airs. You added a mononucleosis scene, did you not, to that? Yeah, we, re we knew we were going to leave a little slot open. We did a reshoot late, late. Because we wanted to capture whatever <laughs> whatever was going on in that in that somber, sad soap opera <sighs> that is the Jets. We wanted to make sure we caught some of it. So yeah, you bet we put in something about mono. Who gets mono? Like you're a, a high school girl on on the swim team, and, <laughs> and school is hard, and you get mono. It's just only only the Jets. I love it. So you, isn't that amazing? You left a little spot for the That's inevitable insane. Jets trap door opening. For, yep. for for a little bit of an add-on, man. 